How to get your prospect to be interested in you. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person, Tom. Keep up the great work. The first contact situation for sales is not an easy one because more often than not, you're gonna get rejection, right? You call the customer, the prospect for the very first time, they're probably gonna say no to you. Ah, I have no demand. Oh, no, I don't need this. Stop calling me. Fuck you, you know? They probably are not gonna be very receptive and they're probably gonna say no to you. Right, and so first contact is difficult. And we all know that it's a numbers game. The more people you call, the more likely you will find your potential customers. The more people you reach out, you will find more potential customers. It's all a numbers game. But of course, we wanna do things that improve your chances, right? Because we also know that prospects lie. Even though they need your services, even though they have a demand for your product, but they will say no because you know they don't want to be sold to, they're busy, they don't want to talk to you right now, they will say no to you, right? Prospects lie, customers lie, right? And uh, But today we're gonna talk about how to make your prospect, your customers interested in you on a first contact you know, situation, in a first contact scenario, all right? Typically, when you reach out to your customer, your prospect for the very first time, either by email or through Yellow or by a phone call, generally, this is how salespeople do it. Right? You know, I see this a lot in my own company. I see this a lot in different companies, and this is how typically salespeople handle it, right? My name is Fook, and I am calling or writing from ABC Company. And, uh, you know, we've been doing, uh, you know, photography for the last 10 years and we have serviced, uh, customers like, uh, ABCWZ and TYX. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we provide really great customer service and, uh, we are the most competitively priced photography service in the industry and in the city. Uh, I would love to, uh, you know, set up an appointment with you so we can go over, you know, all the things that we can do to help your business, help, help with your photography needs. Thank you, Tom, right? That's typically what you would put down in an email or that's typically what you would send in yellow or that's typically what you would say to a customer, you know, on a first contact scenario. And how effective do you think that script or that email or that yellow message would be? Probably not very effective. Probably, you know, maybe you call 100, you get two, or you get one, or you get zero potential prospects, right? Because again, prospects lie. They don't tell you the truth. Even though they need your service, they don't want to talk to you because they're fucking scared. Because they, if they listen to you, they might have to buy from you. So they, they don't, they don't want to talk to you and they usually use excuses like, oh, I have no demand, I'm not interested, I don't have time right now, I can't talk to you right now, can you call me back next time? And they don't answer the next time, right? So um, we all know this, right? So how can we improve your chance of scoring, your chance of, you know, the customer loving you on a first call? All right, or the first email or the first yellow message. How can we make the customer love you when you contact them for the very first time? All right, so this is what I would do. This is what I would say. This is one of the strategies that I would apply. Uh, so I would probably, you know, uh, write something or say something like this. I'm really doing this from uh, my own head, you know, not planned. So let me let me think. All right, I would probably say something like. Uh, you know, hello, Mr. Fook. You don't know me. We have never met, but I have been uh, paying attention to your business, and uh, I know that you know you are, uh, you know, a fantastic business. I really admire the way you did the the Fook Kwok Island project, and uh, that was just so amazing. Uh, you know, I really admire what you do. See, you're talking about them, right? And uh, Mr. Fook, I'm writing a book 
and I am looking for companies to join my case study. Uh, I I think your business is a very good fit for my book. I am testing a strategy that can help the companies that participate in my case study to increase their sales by 30% in three months. Mr. Fook, no obligation, you know, you don't have to participate, but I think it would be uh, very cool if your company participated in my case study for my book, because I think, you know, your company would be a great fit. Uh, let me know if you want to participate in this case study. It's completely free. Thank you, Tom. I would probably write something like that. I, and I would imagine that would get you uh, more success because you're, you're not pressuring them into anything and uh, you are offering something of great immense value. You're gonna help them uh, you know, increase their sales, right? So they, they understand the value and they don't feel an obligation to buy anything from you, right? So you put their mind at ease and they will love you when you send a message or when you call them with a message like that instead of like trying to sell so hard, you know, like ramming the product down their throat, which I don't really believe works on a first call, right? So in the first call, you're putting that gentle, uh, you know, subliminal even, you know, message into their head, you can help them, all right? That's the most important thing you need to do on the first call, is to get the message to them that you can help them, and doing so without exerting pressure, on your prospect because they don't want to be sold to, right? You're telling them you can help them, no obligation, you don't need anything from them, it'll be great if you participate, you know? That's how you get the prospect, how to make them love you on a first contact basis. Take fucking action, use the information that I provided, test it, try it, see if it works, and comment below and tell me if it works because I believe it does because it has worked for me and I know it can work for you. And don't be a fucktard. Thank you.